Hello, my name is Max Hitchens. I'm known as Melbourne Cup Max. If you're going to have a flutter on the Melbourne Cup this year, I'd like to show you how to do it cleverly and intelligently. I've developed a Melbourne Cup system that has worked for 26 out of the last 31 years. My goal is to have six horses running for me in the Cup for no outlay. I invite you to go to pickthecupwinner.com.au to see how you can do this too. Uh, the key is research. I do a lot of research. In 2019, I've done a series of videos about horses likely to run in this year's Melbourne Cup. This video is about a horse named Vow and Declare. Vow and Declare is a four-year-old Australian bred gelding, which is great to have an Aussie horse in the race. We're getting fewer and fewer of them. He's trained by Danny O'Brien, who has uh, stables at Flemington. His main claim to fame, apart from being uh, one of the few Australian uh, horses, is he ran second uh, to the Japanese horse Murder Glass in the Caulfield Cup on the 19th of October. Prior to that, Vow and Declare ran fourth to Kings Will Dream in the Turnbull Stakes on the 5th of October. Can Vow and Declare win the Melbourne Cup? Absolutely. His Caulfield Cup uh, was superb, a wonderful run. Uh, there was a deal of crowding at the furlong post from the post, uh, a furlong from the post, uh, and had this not happened, many people believe Vow and Declare would have won the, the Caulfield Cup. Vow and Declare won the Tats, Club, uh, Tats Cup over 3,000 metres at Eagle Farm on the 22nd of June um, 2019. He was ridden by uh, Glenn Boss, who um, I notice accepted the ride on Constantinople in the Melbourne Cup. So I guess he thinks uh, Constantinople is perhaps a better chance. Uh, um, well, who knows? Who knows? Prior to the Caulfield Cup, Vow and Declare, um, its TAB futures price was $15 a win and $4.50 a place. After the uh, the Cup, it, uh, it dropped to $13 a win, but I notice it's now back to $15 a win. Uh, as of the 24th of October, Vow and Declare is uh, 28th in the order of entry. Uh, this means four horses have got to drop out for Vow and Declare to actually get a run in the uh, 2019 Melbourne Cup. So I wouldn't bet on him until I knew he was in the uh, in the Cup. By the way, I spend in excess of 400 hours each year researching information about one race, the Melbourne Cup. As mentioned, my system has worked for 26 out of the last 31 years. Not perfect, but not bad. You can download my system for free at pickthecupwinner.com.au. Please forward this video on to a, uh, a deserving friend. I think they will like you for doing that, particularly this close to the cup. And good luck in the cup.